Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this truss by method of sections. I have analyzed the same truss by method of joints. You can click the link in the description below and watch that video. In the point A, we have a hinged support and in the point E, we have a roller support. We know that in the hinged support, there will be two reactions. And in the roller support, there will be only one reaction. Since in this truss, there is no horizontal load, HA will be equal to zero. Since the truss is symmetrical, the values of VA and VE will be same. To find VA and VE, we have to add these three loads. When we add, we will get a 60 and then divide that by 2. In this way, for VA and VE, we will get 30 kN. We know that about HC, this truss is symmetrical. So, the values of member forces on the left side and on the right side will be same. For example, the values of member forces for AJ and EF will be same. AI and GE will be same. So, no need to analyze the whole truss. We can take only the left half and do the analysis. I am going to make the first section like this and I am going to take this part and do the analysis. We can apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0. Vertically there is only one force Faj so that will be 0. Let us apply sigma h is equal to 0. There is only one horizontal force Fij so that it will be 0. Now I am going to make the second section like this and I am going to take the left side portion and do the analysis. We already know Fji is equal to 0. So no need to consider it when we take the movements. Let us take movement about i. When we take movement about i, we should not consider Fai. The remaining forces are 30 and Fab. 30 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. FAP is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 2. For FAP, we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. We need to find this angle. Let us take this triangle. For this triangle, the opposite side is 2 and the adjacent side is also 2. In this case, the angle should be 45 degree. We can also calculate this angle. 90 minus 45, it will be 45. Now, let us take movement about B. When we take movement about B, we should not consider FAB. The remaining forces are 30 and FAI. 30 is acting in the clockwise direction. So that it will be positive and the distance is 2. Now let us take a moment about B. When I take a moment about B, I should not consider FAB. The remaining forces are 30 and FAI. 30 is acting in the clockwise direction. So that it will be positive and the distance is 2. About B, FAI is not perpendicular. It is inclined. We can resolve FAI with respect to AB. To make FAI perpendicular to AB, we need 45 degree. About the point B, FAI acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. Then we have to multiply with the cos 45. For FAI, we will get a negative value that means it is compressive. Alternatively, using this rule, we can find FAI. This is acting upwards so that it will be positive. FAI is inclined. We have to make it vertical. To make it vertical, we need 45 degree. FAI is acting upwards so it will be positive. And then we have to multiply with the cos 45. In this way also, we will get FAI which is 42.42 kN and it is compressive. Now I am going to make the third section like this. And I am going to take the left side portion and do the analysis. You can see that here there is no inclined force. 
we have only vertical and horizontal forces. In this case, we can only apply sigma v is equal to 0 and sigma h is equal to 0 and find the member forces. Let us apply sigma v is equal to 0. This is acting upwards so that it will be positive. FBI is acting downwards so that it will be negative. In this way, for FBI, we will get 30 and it is tensile. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. Both of these two forces are acting towards the right side. So both of them are positive. We know the value of FAB 30 and it is tensile. Let us apply that. Finally for FHI we will get a negative value that means it is compressive. Now I am going to make the fourth section like this and I am going to take the left side portion and do the analysis. Let us take a moment about H. When we take a moment about H, we should not consider FHI, FBH. The remaining forces are 30, 20 and FBC. 30 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. 20 is acting in the anticlockwise direction and the distance is 2. FBC is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 2. For FBC, we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. Now let us take a moment about C. When we take a moment about C, we should not consider FBC. The remaining forces are 30, 20, FBH and FHI. 30 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. 20 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 2. FHI is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. About the point C, FBH is not perpendicular, it is inclined. We can resolve FBH with respect to BC. To make FBH perpendicular to BC, we need 45 degree. FBH is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2 and we have to multiply with the cos 45. We know the value of FHI 30 and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply as negative. Finally, for FBH, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Alternatively, using this rule, we can find FBH. This is acting upwards, so it will be positive. This is acting downwards, so it will be negative. FBH is inclined, we have to make it vertical. To make it vertical, we need 45 degree. Now FBH is acting upwards, so it will be positive and we have to multiply with the cos 45. Finally for FBH we will get 14.14 which is compressive. Now I am going to make the fifth and final section like this and I am going to take this part and do the analysis. We can apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0. FCH is acting upwards so that it will be positive. 20 is acting downwards so that it will be negative. For FCH, we will get 20 kN, which is tensile. Here, I have tabulated all of the forces. Here, I have represented all of the member forces in the truss. Now, I am going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.